Good morning, flamethrowers. It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And guys, I have a special video for all of you. Now, as we all know, guys, the Anti-Flame Syndicate War 2 is finally over. So we can all have a nice sigh of relief. And we better hope to God that there isn't going to be a third war. <laughs> anyway, listen. Now, <clears throat> guys, I have been thinking about this long and hard. And here's the thing. What if... That whole turning Vegeta and my dad into cookies wasn't a good enough punishment. So I thought maybe I would line up six different types of punishments for, for you guys to choose. So you guys have to choose which punishment would you want my dad and Vegeta to go through. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Anyway, so let's begin. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie. These... Four, these four monsters, I think, would definitely work out the job for, you know, a great punishment for them. <laughs> now, what four monsters am I talking about? I'm talking about the four titans. I'm talking about the four major kaijus from those Japanese monster movies. You know, Mothra, the queen of the monsters. Rodin, the fire demon. Ghidorah. The one who means many. And of course, Godzilla, king of the monsters. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, guys. So, uh, you guys don't know this, but I actually know all four of them. Believe it or not, they're actually really nice. They're just humble creatures that want to bring balance to the world. Well, except for Ghidorah. He just actually wants to destroy the world. But I actually promised him that I would make him a normal kaiju that can bring balance to the world. I actually promised him that he's still waiting. And how do I know this? Well, believe it or not, they actually have a second form. So that way they can interact with people. They sometimes shrink down and they look humanoid. Well, Ghidorah, he actually has three heads in his human form. I'll show you guys their human form sometime this week. Who knows? But anyway, but anyway, guys, I'm thinking about just sending my dad and Vegeta to their world and have them finish them off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. Do you guys honestly think that my dad can easily withstand Ghidorah's lightning? Or Vegeta can withstand Godzilla's atomic blast? I mean, atomic breath? I mean, think about it. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so that's one punishment. Okay, so here's the second punishment. You guys remember those shark movies that I asked you guys? Have you guys seen them in, in my community tab? Well, they, well, guys, those shark, movie, those shark movies was actually an inspiration for a type of punishment mainly one of those movies was an inspiration now you guys are probably wondering which movie well it's made well it's basically the series of the multi-headed shark movies which is <laughs> two-headed shark three-headed shark four-headed shark slash five-headed shark and six-headed shark yeah <laughs> I was, yeah, I was thinking about going to each movie universe, getting them, putting them in, putting them in one huge tank and just dropping my dad and Vegeta in there and having all three sharks just eat, eat them. I mean, come on, think about it. That'd be kind of cool. In fact, I was thinking about actually having these sharks as pets. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want a two-headed shark or a three-headed shark or, you know, a five-headed shark? I mean, come on, who wouldn't want that for a pet? But anyway, yeah, I was thinking about actually having these guys eat them. Anyway, my, anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's my second punishment. The third punishment was, well, it's basically the whole cookie idea where me and Android 21 turned both my dad and Vegeta into cookies, eat them, and absorb their power. I mean, that's pretty much my whole idea in the first place. I mean, just let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that was a good idea. Anyway, on to the fourth punishment. Now, this one's actually really good. I love this one. It's where Android 21 actually <laughs> uses their bodies as science, as science experiments. Because you see, Android 21 doesn't really understand Mobians, so she wants to study one up close. So I was thinking maybe I would give her my dad, and she doesn't know anything about the Saiyans as much, so I was thinking about I would sell her Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. But anyway, yeah, so that's actually the uh, fifth punishment. 
well, not the fifth punishment, the fourth punishment, sorry. Anyway, here's the fifth punishment. The fifth punishment was, well, I'm using this picture of Android 21 as a uh, reference. You see, guys, what's the one thing all men are weak over? And that would be beautiful women. And what's, and what's one thing that men can't stand? Not being able to touch them. So I thought maybe I would put Vegeta and my dad in a cell and just have a whole mess of beautiful Dragon Ball Z women in sexy outfits torture them. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a really, really great torture. <laughs> you know, torture, a little bit of a uh, wiener torture, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, finally, and for the last punishment, it's this one. Just simply putting them in a cell. But this isn't just any cell. This is a special type of cell that I actually designed myself. You see, while inside, not only, not only is it secured with lasers, but that cell also acts as a sponge and it absorbs their power. So that means <laughs> they'll be drained dry. So guys, just let me know in the comments down below which punishment do you guys want me to do for my dad and Vegeta. Whether it be the cell, a little bit of a <laughs> girl torture, selling their bodies for experiments, the cookies, the sharks, or the monsters. Just let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, it's up to you. Just put down in the comments down below which punishment do you guys want me to do. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Og, signing out for now. Later flamethrowers.